Everybody wants to be a cat Because a cat's the only cat Who knows where it's at Everybody's picking up on that feline beat Because everything else is obsolete this is the Cat Cafe. It's located in downtown San Diego, and it's the first of its kind in Southern California. My name is Tony Wang. I am the general manager here at the Cat Cafe. We wanted to get a behind-the-scenes look of the Cat Cafe. Why open one here in San Diego? What was the inspiration? What is it like working with cats all day? The Cat Cafe was founded, we opened up in January of 2015. We've been here going on three years now. We were inspired by the cat cafes in Paris. We heard that they had a waiting lists of months to get on in. We had to change things up a little bit because they are allowed to serve food where the cats are. We can't do that, which is why we have these walls separating everything. Um, but um, we were inspired to open up by them, and uh, uh, here we are, three years later. A square with a horn makes you wish you weren't born every time he plays. With a square in the act, you can set music back to the cave and day. My favorite part of the Cat Cafe is probably something you can't see initially. Um, it's quality home placement. It's where people have an opportunity to come in and, and interact with cats in an environment where they're relatively low stressed and where they can really get to see what the cat's behavior patterns are like. Sir, are you aware that you're a cat? Honestly, it's really peaceful. <laughs> cat cafes are widely popular throughout Asia. The first cat cafe opened in Taiwan in 1998. Many households in Asia are not large enough to allow pets, so cat cafes became an outlet for those who wanted to own pets but couldn't. They spread quickly throughout Asia, specifically Japan, and finally spread to America in 2014. The first American cat cafe, just a one-week pop-up, occurred in New York and the first permanent cat cafe appeared in Oakland, California. Most major metropolitan areas in the United States have now implemented a cat cafe, including Portland, San Diego, and New York. Some cities have even started branching as far as creating dog, sheep, and even falcon cafes. People have asked us about expansion. People have asked us if we we're looking to expand the facilities, expand to different locations. Uh, right now, we're just focused on making this as, uh, uh, as efficient and as uh, solid of a business as we can in this location. Um, if we do expand or we do um, um, build out a little bit more, that's a uh, long way down the road. Um, when you add another location, you don't just double the complexity of your operations, you quadruple it, and we're not 100% sure we're going to do that. The Cat Cafe has many benefits, both for the customers and for the cats themselves. First and foremost, the cats are seen by a wider variety of people, helping them find homes more easily. Customers who play with the cats also help the cats be more active and learn to interact. Interactions with the cats can provide just as much relief for the cats as it does for the humans. Interacting with the cats helps to lower stress levels and provides the benefits of having a cat without actually owning one. The San Diego Cat Cafe is a wonderful place to go for stress relief or to just hang out with friends. It helps not only you, but the cats too, and they're always up for adoption if you see one you like. Uh, since we opened, we have done 258 adoptions. My name is Andres Cepeda, and I created Urban Feline, and we're basically trying to get ourselves out there, and the, the big focus of our company has always been improving the lives of cats. And we figured, what better way than working with shelters and animal rescues to product test and design and develop new things, and now promote brand awareness. So we reached out to the Cat Cafe and said, hey, this is kind of what we're doing. Are you guys interested? You know, we're happy to come and furnish, no charge. We just kind of want to help give the cats a cool environment and at the same time show our products and let other people see. And Tony was very interested. He said, yeah, sure, come on down. And we chatted and we brought some stuff, set it up, and the cats loved it. So. I've heard some corny birds who try to sing. Still a cat's the only cat who knows But everybody wants to be a cat A square with a horn makes you wish you weren't born Every time he plays With a square in the act You can set music back to the caveman day Everybody wants to be a cat 
Because a cat's the only cat who knows where it's at When playing jazz you always have a welcome mat Because everybody wants to be a cat <laughs> Yeah.